once again the faithful gather at Old Trafford for the latest instalment in Manchester United's attempt to preserve their place in the first division. Since Tommy Doherty took over, their only victories have been in friendly matches, but they've drawn their last three league games, and that's some encouragement. And the team to play Wolves today is in fact unchanged from the last league match against Coventry. Five members of Scotland squad to play England on Wednesday there for Scythe, Graham, Buckham, Morgan and Macari. Expensive players all, but with Ian Moore still injured, Mick Martin keeps his place. A mere £18,000 signing from Bohemians last month, but a player who's looked very promising in the three matches he's had. Wolves haven't been able to pick from a full-strength first-team squad all season, but they've had good news lately of full-back Derek Parkin, and skipper Mick Bailey, who was injured against United in the cup, plays today for the reserves. The latest casualties now, though, are Wagstaff and Dugan, and it will be interesting today to see how young John Richards gets on without Derek Dugan's wise head beside him. But Dugan, a player of infinite promise, 22 goals this season, and now on the fringe of the full England team. And a new hairstyle on view today, Willie Morgan, with locks considerably shorn. The Harold Williams from Sheffield is the referee today. According to the programme, his hobbies include singing in choirs. I hope that he'll appreciate the singing that he hears on the terraces here today as he sets Manchester United away, kicking from right to left in the white shorts. That was McCalliog back to Heathen. Steve Kinden, a familiar face in these parts, in the number 10 shirt for Wolves over on that far touchline, former Burnley player. And this free kick now to be taken by McCall. Wolves coming here unbeaten away from home in three and a half months. And here's Kinden. Good shot that spun off the arms of Stepney. Steve Kinden testing Stepney very early in the game with a ball which is likely to be greasy because the top surface is very, very wet. A lot of rain, although at the moment the sun is shining. Hegan with the corner. Put it up by Buchan, but not clear. That was McCalliog's back header to Hegan. McCall. And out for a goal kick. Danny Hegan, the former Ipswich player who plays for Northern Ireland on Wednesday in Cyprus in the World Cup qualifying game. Stepney no doubt relieved to have seen that ball that spun off his body going outside the post. Neat little head on by Martin. And McDougall chasing as Parks well outside his area. Sticking a bit in the mud. Tony Young. Uh, for Scythe, rather. Hegan wins it from Buchan. This is Daly. Daly, a good shot! And Steve Daly only played ten league games before this season. So twice in the opening three minutes, Wolves testing the nerves of the Manchester United defence and winning corners. Four there is Bernard Shaw, former Sheffield United fullback, and filling in in midfield for Mike Bailey since he's been injured. Graham's header. Now Charlton. Graham. McDougall. 
And Munro right on his heels. Kaliog's throw to Kinden. Buchan takes it away from him smoothly and cleanly. Martin to Makari. In Morgan. In the middle, Makari and McDougall coming now. Did well to get a boot to it and turn it. Difficult one to take on the volley. to Young <laughs> Kaliog Daly well played Daly went in the end over Young's foot So McCall now to take this free kick for Wolves. Kinden on a run towards the near post. Holton above him. Makari. Jefferson beating McDougall. Hegan for Wolves. Picked up by Forsyth. Makari. Morgan out on the right. Now can Morgan turn the line and pull it back? but he couldn't put it back to a Manchester United player. Put out for a corner, just after a quarter of an hour of the game gone. But Jim Holton has gone up into the penalty area. Put away by Munro for another corner. He's facing his own goal, he had to head sideways, and so the corner was the best way out. Corner quickly taken for Scythe. And for Scythe again, to Charlton. And he's got a gap there. Goalkeeper touched it, so it's another corner. And Manchester United now have got the pressure on. Holton camped more or less permanently up in that penalty area, hoping to make his height tell. Glanced across to him. Daly just holding it until some support comes out for Wolves. McCall gives it back to him now. Not a good ball. header, McDougall has pushed it too far. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Now McCallion, cut out by Graham. Makari fouled by Munro. Morgan. Morgan trying his luck through the middle and now feeding McDougall. So a quarter of the game gone without goals. A couple of good shots early on from Wolves and a lot of pressure since from Manchester United. McDougall. Morgan. Martin was coming in. Charlton. Didn't quite drop 
Michael Macari, but it has now gone in off McDougal, but the linesman is standing with his flag up, and it's not a goal. It's not a goal. I think offside was given early on in that move. Kingdon's header. And a big clearance by Bucket. Jefferson for Wolves to Hegan. Turned on by Shaw. Jefferson just nodding it off square for McCall. Actually, anything in the air in Manchester United's half of the field, Jim Holton reckons to get ahead to somehow. McCall with the free kick. Cleared by Holton. with Charlton breaking on his right. And he finds a way through on his own. Bakari tried to give it back, but it's come to Charlton. They're all trying to do it for each other. That clinging mud in the penalty area doesn't make it easy to play on twos. And down goes Bakari. He has a go when he gets up at Shaw, and that's really set it in motion. Referee knows who he wants, and the man he wants is Makari, and he's absolutely right. Makari was fouled, he was given the free kick, and then he got up and grabbed Shaw by the scruff of his shirt, and it's going to get him a booking. It wasn't clear there whether Shaw went into the book as well for the original foul, but certainly Makari booked. And the trainer now coming on to have a look at Martin. Tommy Kavanagh coming to have a look at Martin's leg. And Sammy Chung, the Wolves trainer, is also on. That's the wall waiting, and there Bobby Charlton and Willie Morgan preparing to take the free kick as the trainers leave the pitch. Morgan, chip forward, McCurry down, and they scramble it away, and Martin puts the shot wide. Smith Martin, and this is Phil Parks. Header to Kinden. Daly. Buck and back to Stephanie. Jefferson beats Makari in the air. Must have a good six inches in height advantage, probably more. Buck and Graham out to Morgan. Martin, too delicate. Daly brought down by Graham. Now for Scythe. Curry. Try 
Foul given and a free kick to Wolves. So we're now in injury time in this first half. As Shaw tries to find a firm spot to tee up the ball for Hegan to take the free kick. Forsyth scoops it up. Gets it again. Nobody left upfield. McDougall had been dropping back, having discussions with the bench. Holton again gets his head at the ball. Holton, pretty clumsy challenge on Kindon. Still not clear, it was a good shot by McCarriog. Jim McCarriog. And that's the half-time whistle, and the half ends as it began with a shot from Wolves, which really tested Alex Stepney. And that really has been the difference between these two sides. Manchester United have created all the pressure, but Wolves have done the shooting, and Stepney has kept out shots from Kindon, from Daly, and from McCalliog, whereas all Manchester United really have to show for their efforts in the first half is a lot of churned up mud in the middle of the Wolves penalty area, but very few actual shots that have disturbed Parks. And so we have a blank score sheet at half time Manchester United nil, Wolves nil. So it's Wolves who kick off in the second half, the game goalless. A lot for Manchester United to play for, anyway. Daly's, uh, Daly's cross, caught by Step. Bakken. Because though it was put out by Monroe, the throw to Manchester United. Makari. Martin, just a touch by the goalkeeper. First time they really genuinely caught the Wolves' defence and they were all there on their heels. Martin so nearly made it, just a touch by this man Parks that prevented it. Morgan. Akari. Ball ran away from him when it dropped at his feet. If he'd been able to kill it, he could have turned on it and had a better target to shoot at. Holton wins it in the air again. Shaw. Young's header, pushed on by Graham. Now Steve Daly for Wolves, tripped by Young after he'd beaten Young, and that's going to be a booking. George Graham interceding on Young's behalf, but it certainly looked as though Daly was entitled to believe that he could go on then. He'd beaten Young was taking the ball clear away from him and then a foot tripped him. Call. Richard slips, Buchan back to Stepney.
for Saif. Bakker. That's Munro's. Taylor. deliberate handball so that's three names taken now and in fact if Shaw went into the book as well in that earlier incident then it is indeed four names I wasn't absolutely certain that Shaw was booked Monroe. A very astute ball by Hegan. Not back into play by Toby Kavanagh. Young. Bucker. Martin. Bundled off it by Kinden. Kicked by Jefferson. Helped on by Shaw. Hegan. Richards. Got a lucky rebound. McCalliog. Taken away from him by Holton. And Buchan saves it going for a corner. Charlton has lost it. Straight into the arms of Stepney. Some Wolves players could be in trouble if they don't calm down. But there have been a lot of tumbles in that penalty area, and this time the referee is sympathetic to Manchester United. And Bobby Charlton, who took on the responsibility for the spot kicks against West Ham. George Best, having previously scored from the spot for United earlier in the season, now takes this one. No Bobby Charlton, capable of hitting the ball very, very hard, just places this one. Goalkeeper starts to go one way, and by the time he sees the ball going the other way, has no chance. One nil then. Twelve and a half minutes of the second half gone. Daly. Morgan. Martin just found the yard of pace that he needed. Read by Shaw. A rather wild kick by Shaw, too. Referee has a word with him. Gives him the benefit of the doubt that it was accidental. Jefferson. A wild challenge by Young.
Morgan. Graham, the through ball, well cut out by Jefferson. McDougal was in full stride. throw and well saved again by Parks as Forsyth came in there to make a surprise extra man Manchester United beginning to buzz a bit again McDougal a good header it's come for Graham Jefferson and Wolves have got it clear. But Martin has it now for Young. Akari pulled that down well. Morgan. Now he's dangerous. The call stuck with him well. And that's the tenth corner to Manchester United. to take it bad corner Buckham with Kinden chasing him Makari Getting away from Jefferson, Shaw going after him. And he's brought down by Jefferson. Graham to Morgan. McDougal to Charlton! again from the free kick played by Graham nodded down from the cross and banged home by Bobby Charlton a goal in the real old Manchester United style scored in the inimitable Bobby Charlton manner Graham to Morgan nodded down well by McDougal and put in inimitably by Charlton 2-0 now Morgan collision there between Hegan and Morgan and Hegan throws mud at Morgan they swing at each other referee letting it all go just a warning word as he goes by play continuing Martin looked out for a corner by Jefferson but just as easily have gone whipping under the bar Walls rattled by those two quick goals. Tommy Doherty, no doubt, feeling a good deal happier now than he was half an hour ago. Martin. deflection it's a goal kick (laughs) 
Shaw. Richards chasing it. Buckham has really played most resolutely in that back four. Gets it out of play. And again now Charlton McDougal that'll be Monroe's Daly playing it on for McCallion, but Buckham in supreme control there. The crowd now willing to cheer at every move. Chip indeed. Opportunism took it so well. 2 1, scorer Danny Hegan comes out of that situation, sees Stepney off his line, and without hesitating to set himself, drops it just over Stepney's head into the back of the net. 2 1. Holton, Graham, and Kallion. Kinden playing it inside for Taylor. Munro for Shaw. Daly. Surprisingly penalised for that tackle. A call. Crafty back header. Jefferson. Turn back and it's not quite in Stepney's hands, it's all right now. Richardson was chasing. by Buckham and he finds Morgan and Morgan takes on Taylor no foul Holton I think the referee may be going to give up. He's had his ankles, his socks down around his ankles for some time. I think maybe he's suffering from cramp. And I think he's going to leave the senior linesman to take over. He just waited for play to get into the middle of the pitch. Wolves, it looks, are going to take the opportunity of the hold-up to bring on their substitute, Alan Sunderland, another of their home-produced youngsters. And the referee is going to take the line on the far side, 
And Mr Chadwick from Darwin, the senior linesman, takes charge for the last 16 or 17 minutes. So we start with a drop ball. I think the player who has gone off is Daly. Buchan. Jefferson back to Parks. Taylor. Flicked on well by McCalliog. Richards couldn't get there because Buchan beat him to it. put into touch by Jefferson Graham's throw trying to work the line and Jefferson was fouling McDougal George Graham giving it back to Morgan Just McDougal and Macari in the box. The back header by McDougal. Here's Macari. Oh, he was unlucky then. Good goalkeeping by Parks. Give the Wolves man credit. Lovely little bit of juggling by Macari that made the chance for him. But it also gave Parks the time to get out and smother at his feet. Charlton. Good corner. Good catch by Parks. Jefferson bundling Graham because Graham went into the goalkeeper. A free kick for a foul on Parks. Sunderland keeps it in. And Buchan puts it out. This is Steve Kindon, number 10 for Wolves. A call. Egan. Young gives away a corner, trying to turn it back to Stepney and getting the angle wrong. Young takes up his position by the near post. Just two men left back for Wolves. Monroe is up in the penalty area after having done a lot of good work in the air in his own. Hegan with the corner. And Stepney turns it over for another at the other side. Good save by Stepney. Row. Drop right across to the other side for Hegan. Played on again for Hegan. Smartly worked. Headed away by Morgan. McDougal Martin. Now McCarry with McCall going across. And McCall is there first. But McCarry's won it from him and is absolutely a fall back by McCall. But the free kick is given the other way. Well, I would have said McCarry was more injured than injuring there. And there's the final whistle. And that is a happy day for Manchester United. Their first win under Tommy Doherty, their first win since December the 2nd, and their first here at Old Trafford since the end of November. So a day to remember, made for them by two goals by Bobby Charlton. The first of them a penalty, 
the second of them an absolute corker Danny Hegan the reply for Wolverhampton Wanderers but these were points that Manchester United really need the final scoreline Manchester United 2 Wolves 1